Hey guys, uh, I'm Ronnie, and today uh, welcome to uh, a review of the ASUS RTAC68U Gigabit 802.11ac router. So this is a gigabit router that outputs gigabit signal. So obviously uh, this will have 802.11ac Wi-Fi capable of up to 1300 megabits per second on a single 5 gigahertz channel and 600 megs on, well, um, the other channel, so that's gonna be cool. So let's jump into, let's take a look now. So on the front you'll see a lot of illumination lights, uh, notifications, so these are port 1, 2, 4, uh, which indicates um, if four ports are connected or running, doing stuff, this is the internet source, you have to be USB 3 or 2, um, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz lights and at last a power indicator um, so USB 3 and 2 is actually two ports on the back indicates when they are plugged in so uh, the features of this um, router is that you can wait well you can make a DDNS router uh, I mean a uh, remote personal cloud so you can access it er anywhere in the world only when you remember the um, in a URL with HTTPS secured, so this fe this router uh, features a 128-bit security, um, I mean encryption system. So as you can see, there are air vents on the top. So air vents are everywhere, and including on the top, which connects um, to the back of the router, right here, right here, and here. You'll see an ASUS uh, illumination, illuminated logo and LED on off for the illuminated logo. So here is the power button. DC in, um, USB 2, USB 3 for file sharing, a hard re hardware reset button, um, and a source gigabit Ethernet port um, for inputting and outputting signals here. A port 1234 for gigabits, and on the bottom you'll find rubber grips uh, to prevent your router from slipping everywhere. And the side, at the left hand side, you'll find nothing but a clear view of your router. Um, and uh, on the bottom, I mean, on the edge of the bottom, you'll find uh, some air vents if you can see it properly right now, as you can see. And on the right hand side you'll find a WP the hardware WPS button, which is for encryption I think, and Wi-Fi on off button. So let's connect all the cables down there right now. Guys, now we're back on the floor and uh, the first thing will be to connect the power source which is here and connect it to the cable to the wall plug that in simply by pushing and um, connect the internet source which is my this is the ethernet source connect it to the blue uh, ethernet port right here and you, after all you should, uh, you should hear a clicking sound and connect the outputs right now which is here um, and here and here. So I'm, I love to connect them on port 1 and 3 to separate them for easy cable management, not to connect them too tight. So the last thing will be to hit the power button on the right right now. So this is right here. Let's zoom it. This is right here, so push it right now. The ACES logo should illuminate. Uh, as you can see, um, if you can see it right now. So, after you plug things in, you should see um, the internet source light should light up and port 1 and 3 should light up in my case and the power button should always light up after you put the power button and after about a minute the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz um, 5 gigahertz lights should light up as well. So guys, after about a minute, the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz lights have uh, has erupted, as you can see. 
So now we can finally set up our router. I will be using my Nexus 7, which is right here. I have my Nexus 7 ready, and I can set it up right now. So uh, the first thing, you will be getting into uh, the Wi-Fi settings, or scans, as you can see there, if you can see. So uh, there should be a network called ASUS. Uh, just go ahead and click it and connect it. It should be without security. You should see a URL uh, ooh, here called ASUS. Uh, sign into Wi-Fi network. So um, here we are the setup. So welcome to the network, uh, ASUS networking family. Uh, small introduction about that. Click go and you should be good to go. So um, now it's just set up a login name so I've just typed in the username and password so uh, your login information can be used for AI Cloud which we'll cover later. Um, the default username and password is admin and admin so uh, click next now after you've typed in and it should ask you to set up network necessities. So now I've done it so uh, yeah, click apply. So this will be uh, encrypted by WPA2 personal WES, I mean AES, excuse me. So you should see a uh, sign of please wait applying settings and your network connections should disconnect soon. Uh, here we go, detect connection again. So after about 10 seconds, your network connection should become normal again. It will simply automatically connect to the Wi Fi. Here we go, and it should detect the signal in 10 seconds. Here we go, and uh, here is to see all your content um, that you personally set up, uh, including wireless, SSIDs, uh, and WAN, address, uh, connection types, and LAN. So click next. And yay, here we go. We have the internet status, WAN IP, DDNS, you can set it up right away. In a, I will do that in a separate video. You can see the clients, no device connected, and here you can see your system status. So this router includes, uh, you can set up a guest network, you have a traffic manager to limit, well, uh, smart QoS means quality of service. You can enable that to lock, well, upload bandwidth to how many megabits per second. I can turn that off um, if I want. So, um, yay. Uh, and you can have parental controls, of course. You can have USB application for sharing, for, uh, file sharing, excuse me. And AI cloud for setting up your personal cloud, I would say. And advanced settings include water changing wireless names, well, um, and also passwords, SSIDs, uh, LAN. Um, what's that for? Oh, IP address, HCP server, IPTV, switch control, all that kind of stuff. You can have firewall change it. You have supports for IPv6 and VPN. Um, and you have administration for adding more accounts. Uh, you can have operation mode. Oh no! I mean, I meant to say firmware upgrade and checking system status and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you have have network tools um, to ping stuff and set up Wacon LAN. Have net state commands. So that's pretty much it. Um, was the download manager. Um, so yeah, here it actually has a download manager which you can actually download it for uh, installing torrents or scheduling torrents and stuff uh, which yeah is pretty cool so this router is only for about 1200 Hong Kong dollars and for like well 150 US I think yes uh, if I take the connect uh, take the currency as 8 uh, so make sure you like the video or maybe dislike it if you think the review sucks and make sure you comment below to let me know what I actually missed or did bad in the, this, this review and make sure you subscribe to the channel of course for weekly tech videos 
Remember, uh, subscription to this channel is free, so make sure you do that right now. Right now, yes. So uh, I'll have a separate video for you guys um, to, well, uh, how on how to set up uh, the personal cloud that I mentioned using DDNS, AI cloud, and that stuff. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.